Blessed is the Virgin, who by denying herself and taking up her cross, imitated the Lord, the spouse of virgins and prince of martyrs. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Welcome to Mass on this, the Feast of St. Lucy. Welcome if you're participating via the internet. We'll hear a little bit about her, as is our custom, after the Gospel reading. We offer Mass today especially for those who are persecuted for their faith. And nearer to home, we offer this Mass for Beryl, and for Deborah, and for Annette. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us call to mind and confess our sins. You raise the dead to life in the Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You bring pardon and peace to the sinner. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God, our Redeemer, who gave light to the world that was in darkness, by the healing power of the Saviour's cross. Shed that light on us, we pray, that with your martyr Lucy, we may, by the purity of our lives, reflect the light of Christ, and by the merits of his passion, come to the light of everlasting life. Through the same Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, for ever and ever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. The sun shall no longer be your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you by night. But the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your God will be your glory. Your sun shall no more go down, or your moon withdraw itself. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of mourning shall be ended. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In your light shall we see light. In your light shall, shall we, we see, see light. light. Your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, and your faithfulness to the clouds. Your righteousness stands like the strong mountains, your justice like the great deep. In your light, we see light. How precious is your loving mercy, O God. All mortal flesh shall take refuge under the shadow of your wings. They shall be satisfied with the abundance of your home. They shall drink from the river of your delights. In your light shall we see light. O continue your loving kindness to those who know you, and your righteousness to those who are true of heart. Let not the foot of pride come against me, nor the hand of the ungodly thrust me away. In your light shall we see light.
Alleluia, Alleluia. Whoever would become my followers, let them deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, No one, after lighting a lamp, puts it in a cellar, but on the lampstand, so that those who enter may see the light. Your eye is the lamp of your body. If your eye is healthy, your whole body is full of light. But if it is not healthy, your body is full of darkness. Therefore, consider whether the light in you is not darkness. If then your whole body is full of light, with no part of it in darkness, it will be as full of light as when a lamp gives you light with its rays. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Please sit down for a moment. Lucy was a native of Syracuse in Sicily. She lived at the beginning of the 4th century when the Roman authorities were attempting to re-establish the worship of gods they approved of. The emperor himself was the focus of one of the cults. Tradition has it that Lucy, as a young Christian, gave away her goods to the poor and was betrayed to the authorities by her angry betrothed, who felt that they should have become his property. She was put to death for her faith in the year 304. Her name in Latin means light, and as her feast day falls in December, she became associated with the one true light who was coming as the redeemer of the world, the light that would lighten the nations, the light that would banish darkness and let the eyes of all behold truth incarnate. Devotion to St. Lucy was so widespread that her name was included among the martyrs in the Roman canon, which is the most ancient of all Eucharistic prayers. So today, brothers and sisters, let us pray for all who are persecuted for their faith in Jesus Christ. And let us pray for all who suffer for conscience sake. Let us pray for the work of Amnesty International. Let us give thanks for all those who have the courage to speak truth to power. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. As we think of Lucy executed by civil authority, let us pray for all those who have power as leaders of nations, as elected officers, that they may use their power and influence for the building up of all and for the common good, And let us pray that all who represent us in government, national and local, may have integrity and honesty.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We continue to pray for the people of the Ukraine. for the people of Afghanistan and Iran, for all places where there is conflict, that it may be reconciled. We pray for those we know to be in need, especially we're asked to pray for Deborah, for Annette, for Beryl, for Derek, for Julia and Jane and David and Roy, for Anne, Margaret, Julie and Pauline, for Kate, Ian, Alfie and Yvonne, for Ron and Grace, for Matthew, for Rocco, for Nick awaiting a heart transplant. And for those who have been bereaved by the fatal accident in Solihull over the weekend. As we pray for the departed, we pray for those three children. And we pray too in years mind for William Riley priest. Rest eternal, grant unto them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. Let us commend the living and the departed to the prayers of Mary, the Queen of Martyrs, as we say. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. In a moment of silence, we bring our own personal prayers before the throne of grace. Father, hear the prayers we make in the name of your Son, our Saviour and our Redeemer. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever by the mystery of this water and this wine. May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself and shared in our Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sinfulness. Pray, dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at my hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we joyfully offer, O Lord, this day's sacrifice, recalling the heaven-sent victory of blessed Lucy, 
we proclaim by it your mighty deeds and rejoice at having gained her glorious intercession through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Lucy, poured out like Christ's to glorify your name, shows forth your marvellous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. Therefore, with angels and archangels and with all the company of heaven, we proclaim your great and glorious name, forever praising you and saying, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Christ is the bread of life. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, Lord Jesus, until you come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this, our sacrifice, with praise and thanksgiving, we bring before you the bread of life and the cup of eternal salvation. And we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. Send the Holy Spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we, in the company of Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, of John the Evangelist, the beloved disciple, our patron, with Lucy, the apostles, the martyrs and all the saints, we may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever, Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, who by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit through your death gave life to the world. Free us by this, your most holy body and blood, from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us always faithful to your commandments and never let us be parted from you. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him that takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. gifts and purity of spirit. May they bring you healing and strength now and forever. They did not cling to their lives, even in the face of death. Therefore rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell in them.
Let us pray. Eternal God, who gave us this holy meal, in which we have celebrated the glory of the cross and the victory of your martyr, Lucy. By our communion with Christ in his saving death and resurrection, give us with all your saints the courage to conquer evil and so to share the fruit of the tree of life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you to dwell deep within you this day and for evermore. Amen. Mass is ended. Go forth and announce the gospel. Thanks be to God.